When you take my case history, why do you care about loud sounds that happened when I was a kid? Because noise effects are concomitant. A little bit of noise here and there makes a difference over time. And when um, you've had a firecracker go off near your ear, or you've gone to a concert, or you've been in the military, even if it's been 30 or 40 years ago, each one of those instances will add up over time. Sometimes you'll come back from a concert and you'll have ringing in the ears or maybe you'll, you've been near an explosion when you're in the Army and um, I've had patients say that they couldn't hear for a couple of days. And each one of those instances makes a difference over 30 or 40 years. If you had an instance of temporary threshold shift where the hearing seemed to come back, after a couple days, that instance has weakened the system a little bit. And over time, if you keep going to concerts, we'll see it 30 or 40 years later and it'll look, um, it may be hard to differentiate whether that's a noise-induced loss or if it's an age-related hearing loss. In some instances, like an explosion going off or a firecracker near your ear, you may find that it never did recover and that would be called a permanent threshold shift and sometimes in that case you may have ringing or tinnitus associated with it also. What we want to do is we want to know as much as possible about all aspects of your history but noise is one of them and um, then if we see a hearing loss we can put the the diagnostic information together with the history you've given us and it will give us a better picture in making the proper um, recommendations and assessments for either hearing conservation or um, whether we need to investigate other possibilities for the type of hearing loss that you have. By hearing conservation I mean uh, recommendations like noise plugs for uh, shooting guns or if you're going to go to a concert or if you're a musician there are special plugs that we can offer you that won't eliminate the music but will tone down the sound enough to not damage your hearing or if you run chainsaws we can get you some earplugs that are very inexpensive or even free that will help you protect your hearing for the future. <laughs>